Um, so today we're going to look at multiplication and we're going to use the written algorithm in order for us to do so. So one of the biggest rules and tips and tricks that we use is that zero is actually the hero when we're multiplying with a two digit number. So here when we look at what this number is asking us to do, it's asking us to multiply 349 91 times. So what we can do is actually look at, okay, well, what do these numbers represent? So here we have 300, so three ten, three hundreds. We've got 40, so four tens, and nine ones. It's asking us to multiply that 90 and one times. So the written algorithm is just a structure for us to be able to do this in um, a step-by-step -step process. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually multiply the one by 349, because really what this is asking us is 90 plus one. And that little zero there, that's gonna come in and save us in a little bit. So we're going to do one times nine, which is nine, 1 times 4, which is 4, and 1 times 3, which is 3. Now, again, we would know that because we know that anything times 1 is just itself. But we're not finished because this is actually asking us to multiply 90 and 1 times. So now what we're going to do is really use our rule of zero to come in and save us. And something that I like to do is actually put that in a different colour. So what we're going to do now, instead of us having to multiply this whole number 90 times, we're just going to multiply it by nine because we've already got our zero here to save us for that place value. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply nine by nine, which is 81. So we put our one down here and we carry our eight here. Now we're going to multiply our nine by four, which we know is 36. And then we're going to add our eight, which is going to be 44. So we put our four down here and we carry our four up the top. Now we're going to multiply our nine by three, which gives us 27, but we need to add on our four as well, which is going to give us 31. But we're not quite done yet because what we have gotten to so far is we have multiplied it into two parts. For us to finalise using the written algorithm, we need to add these together. So now what we're going to do is just perform a sing single addition algorithm where we're just adding each place value in order. So we're going to add 9 to 0, which we know is going to be 9. We're going to add 4 and 1, which gives us 5. We're going to add 3 and 4, which gives us 7. We're going to add 1 to nothing, which gives us 1 and three to nothing, which gives us three. So in total, our answer of 349 multiplied 91 times gives us 31,759.